Ever since 13-year-old Jamie Kloss escaped to freedom on January 10th, the town of Gordon has been in the national spotlight. Besides being the home of her alleged kidnapper, Jake Patterson, not much is known about the small community. Local 5 producer Ben Burns has more on his hometown in part two of Gordon Beyond Patterson. When you have to get out a map to show someone where you're from, it probably means you grew up in a small town. For me, that town was Gordon, located in Douglas County at the northwest corner in Wisconsin. Considered to be the dairy state's vacation land, people from big cities like Minneapolis and Chicago migrate to Gordon during the summer to live a rural lifestyle in cabins. But when below zero temperatures arrive at their front door, only the true locals stick around to keep the town running. This weather I love. I mean, I'm a winter person. I could never leave this. A lot of people leave uh, to go uh, south, and I could never leave winter. I, I want fresh snow every day, and I like the cold. And when it's gone, it's gone. While the town undergoes somewhat of a hibernation during the winter, it was in for a bittersweet awakening in January. Jamie Kloss, a young Wisconsin teenager who went missing in October after her parents were murdered, has been found alive. The suspect is 21-year-old Jake Thomas Patterson. He is of Gordon, Wisconsin. He's charged with kidnapping, armed burglary, and two counts of first-degree intentional homicide. There's a lot of woods between here and Barron. He could have been anywhere. But to be downtown Gordon, yeah, that's that's a complete it was a complete shock to everybody. It was at this home where Jamie was reportedly kept under Patterson's bed while authorities conducted a nationwide search. It's also where she put fate into her own hands by making an escape to safety. On the day after Jamie was found, law enforcement crowded Patterson's home and blocked off the surrounding area. Neighbors and local business owners were also bombarded by news outlets looking to get any scrap of information on the man who allegedly killed Jamie's parents. And while most people avoided the microphones and cameras, the talk behind closed doors was ripe with conversation. They were, like the first couple of days, they were like, wow, I can't believe, you know, and they were bringing in their uh, school yearbooks and showing me pictures of you know, this is the guy I went to school with. This is him right here. But now that the dust has settled, locals are just looking to move on. Really, the talk has cooled down, uh, but more of the concern and thoughts and prayers for Jamie and her recovery and her family. Still, in a town of just over 600 people, many are left wondering what they would have done if Jamie walked down their driveway. I would have taken her to my house, had loaded my rifle, and waited till the cops got there. Jeannie Nutter, the woman who Jamie approached, has been applauded for her simple act of kindness, along with Peter and Kristen Kaczynskis, who opened their doors to the missing 13-year-old. Perhaps their actions are a better representation for the town than Patterson's. Well, Gordon is just another small town in Wisconsin where people are friendly and they have the same problems that, that they do anywhere. I really truly believe that if it had been anybody that wasn't involved and she had went up to him that the, the same response would have happened. But only time will tell if the stigma gets swept away. Reporting in Gordon, Ben Burns, Local 5 News. Now, Patterson is due in Barron County Court this Wednesday. Meanwhile, Jamie's family says she's been doing well since coming back home.